Hi everyone, this is a reading with me. We're going to have a look and see what's coming through for your reading. This is for all star signs. So if you're here, I feel like it is, you know, a message that, um, messages you're supposed to hear. And this is a safe space where you are always very welcome. All right, so we're going to have a look and see what is coming through. Also, if you ever wanted to purchase any personal tarot readings with me to answer questions you have, any personal services, um, you know, rituals that I have on my website for, you know, love, money, marriage, career, healing, black magic removal, protection ritual, and so much more. And there's also as well intention items for different areas of your life, um, which are handmade, meditated with and sage. Everything is always linked down below on shopmoonlightguidance.com which is the website and in the description box below as well okay and there's thousands of five star reviews so let's have a look and see We've got the death card king of pentacles hmm. um i feel something has very much sort of um felt uh, like it ended or there has been a lot of space and time a lot of stagnant energy so the death energy here really shows, you know, very, very stagnant energy. It's been really overwhelming, very frustrating, um, crickets almost with the hermit where things have been super, super quiet. And even with the two of swords, you know, it's been sort of very all over the place and you've not necessarily felt your best. You haven't felt the happiest. And with the king of pentacles, I really see a very, very strong energy where you have been trying your absolute best and your hardest. And I really feel here as well that to me, this person is sort of in two minds, not necessarily about you, but they feel really embarrassed. They feel embarrassed that they can't give you what you need. And they feel so embarrassed by that, that it's almost like getting to them to the point where they feel like, how can I be with you when I feel so little? I feel so unlike myself. I feel like I'm not good enough. I feel like you're so much bigger, better than me. You're kinder. You're more gracious. You're sweeter. You're nicer. Like, how can I be with you when I feel so bad about myself and I feel like I can't give you what you want? And that's what I see here is it's almost like, you know, on one side, they feel so connected to you. They want to build a life with you. They want to progress things with you romantically. It's almost like they stop themselves because of a lot of overthinking as well. And also on your side, you know, you overthink the situation and you think to yourself, is it me? Like, am I good enough? Or am I not good enough? Or, you know, have I done something wrong? Or is it because I'm unattractive? It's, you also blame yourself. But what's really interesting is that it's not something you've done. It's, it's how they feel about themselves in relation to the connection because they see you as someone very mature. And they sometimes just feel like, am I good enough? I don't know if I can be as mature nine of wands a lot of thinking in regards to that and then they start to think like yeah i do want to progress things with you i do want to be with you you know i do want to move things along i do really like you but then they think to themselves i don't know if i'm strong enough i don't know if i am powerful enough i don't know if i can do this enough i don't know if this is possible you know it's it's almost like they scare themselves and get very very worried in regards to this because they feel like you know can i do this can i not and you know, it's one of those things where I think there's only so much that they can convince themselves of before they before they realize, wait a second, I could lose someone like you just out of my own fear. And that's the, that's the thing here. You know, they're so in their head about things thinking like, am I good enough for you? You know, I feel embarrassed, like oh, not being enough. But the thing is with the seven of cups, they're like thinking so much about it that temperance shows here that in a matter of time, okay, they will start to literally feel with the knight of, knight of wands that, wait a second, I could lose you here. Why am I so panicked about what I could bring to the table when I should just bring it to the table. Um, they will then not be able to hold back their, their feelings for you because they will realize that they could lose you and that somebody else could very much end up with you. And that's an even more uncomfortable thought than them thinking to themselves, can I really bring you what you need? And instead they will realize like, wait a second, you need consistency. Let me just come to you with consistency because I don't want that person over there to suddenly end up with you and then for me to think like all I had to do was just be a bit more consistent all I had to do was to be a bit more communicative all I had to do was be a bit nicer and kinder they will literally beat themselves up over the fact that actually in the grand scheme of things the things that they felt they lacked in were so much easier to deal with than having to deal with you ending up with somebody else 
They are going to realize that. They will literally realize that the fears that they have right now are so tiny in comparison to the fears that they could have if you ended up with somebody else and then trying to resolve situations from there. That is something that they will absolutely realize. And oh my God, I feel like I have goosebumps. Literally. I don't even know if you can tell. Um, you probably really can't tell, but I have got goosebumps and... <sighs> You know, it's one of those things where it's almost like they realize that, wait a second, like I'm making this all about what I'm thinking, but I'm not thinking of the bigger picture if I lost you. You know, because right now I, I don't really necessarily feel like, oh, they feel like, you know, they're not thinking too much about like, oh, if I lose you, then this. I feel like it's a, it's a thought that's going to cross their mind. And when it does, they'll be like, wait a second, like they're a bigger fish, fish to fry here, you know? Yeah. So here we go. One is wand. This is action. This is action that they are going to take with intention to progress things with you and not to keep sort of running in the opposite direction. They will be very much adamant on moving things along with you, progressing things along with you and not running away from you. This is them taking action towards you. We have here love is the answer because guess what? The fear that they have, they will so totally get rid of that when they start to realize that, wait a second, you could end up with somebody else and that's more of an uncomfortable thought. So basically then what happens, love is the answer. They will take action to progress things with you romantically and lovingly to allow things to basically move in the right direction um we'll have here you know i'm ready so this they are going to get ready we have here i can't even look at you right now yeah they just feel ashamed that they can't give you what you need right now but like you know as soon as they make that um, realization that like love is the answer they are absolutely going to take action and they are going to be ready we see that here okay the green light and we have here one which is also cup this is emotionally them coming forward expressing themselves understanding themselves emotionally understanding your needs understanding what they can bring to the table but also not wanting to let you go and being so connected to you romantically that this is like something that they will like 100 want and 100 not want to like run away from if that makes sense like they will feel so so awful and so bad that they will not want to run away from you in any way shape or form in fact they will feel more connected to you more drawn to you they will not want to go in the opposite direction at all that will make them feel so uncomfortable and literally whoa <sighs> this is what we have okay this person does have love for you i just feel like you know they they think about the love for you and they think but i can't give you consistency i can't give you all of this, I, I feel bad and I feel ashamed, I should just not come to you because I feel ashamed, I can't give you what you need, and then, you know, that's why they hold back all of that, they hold it back, but then they start, and they will start to make that connection of what if some, you know, what if you end up with someone else, They'll, they won't even get a chance to do anything towards you, and boom, it makes them take action, it makes them say something, it makes them do something, so they will do that because at some point they will fear losing you and that fear is going to be so much stronger than anything else that they will think to themselves, wait, I, I need to drop everything, I need to take action, I can't keep just living in my Delulu land, which is like delusional, you know, <laughs> they're kind of like <laughs> Delulu land and I need to actually do something because it's not just how I'm thinking about everything that affects the connection, it's also how you're thinking about things that affects the connection because at any moment you could let go and you can move on and they'll have no control and that's something that really scares them is them not having any kind of control to get back to you or to progress things with you or what if you shut the door on them like they'll have no control and that's something that they really um basically worry about because you know right now they have control but they they're going to start to realize that they don't always have the control and that is something that is going to be so uncomfortable for them and so overwhelming for them that they will not understand what has happened and how it's happened and what is going on oh that is what we have here my gosh what a reading right like honestly if this resonates with you please like the reading comment down below and also comment as well um they're not going to be able to hold back they're really not so this is your reading, okay? And also all the information is in the description box below for personal services, personal readings, intention items, thousands of five-star reviews, 
there's rituals for, you know, love, money, success, marriage, career, healing, beauty, justice, etc. Um, so many amazing rituals, there's amazing items as well that are handmade, meditated with and staged. And also there's TikTok and Instagram. I post short readings on there every day, moonlight.guidance on Instagram, moonlight guidance on TikTok. And I'll see you all very, very soon. And definitely do comment down below as well if this resonates with you. I love reading the comments. I can't always respond to them because there are so many, but I do try my very best to read as many as possible. And yes, that's what I wanted to mention. So take care, everyone. Bye. Oh, and also um, my Instagram has a tick mark, just like my YouTube channel. So just be aware, um, it's moonlight.guidance, okay? Um, my Instagram doesn't have a tick mark, so that's moonlight guidance, just thought I'd mention.